Good morning. Welcome to Current Scam World. In this video, let us see what is called chemiluminescence, what is called bioluminescence, what are the similarities, what are the differences. Okay. Okay. Let us now compare the chemiluminescence and the bioluminescence. What is called chemiluminescence? It is a phenomenon where production and emission of light occurs during chemical reactions. When chemical reactions occur, it is accompanied by emission of light. That is called chemiluminescence. In contrast, it is again a again a phenomenon of production and emission of light occurs due to biochemical reactions. The same here it is the emission of light occurs due to chemical reactions taking place. In this case due to biochemical reactions which is taking place in the presence of enzymes the emission of light takes place. Okay. So, let us see few examples so that it will be very clear, it will be very, uh, you will understand it. For example, luminol reacts with the hydrogen peroxide to release blue light. Okay, when luminol reacts with the hydrogen peroxide, it gives product which is in the excited state. When it comes to ground state, it gives the light. This gives emission of light okay, and hemiluminescence. It releases blue light. In the second example, white phosphorus glows. White phosphorus glows. And that is white phosphorus emits light in the presence of oxygen and water to give. It is due to oxidation reaction. For example, when you light matchsticks, okay, the glow is also called chemiluminescence. During this reaction, light is emitted. Okay. So let us now see example for bioluminescence. For example, luciferin is oxidized to oxyluciferin. Luciferin is oxidized to oxyluciferin in living organisms. In living organisms, it is catalyzed by luciferase enzyme. It is catalyzed by in the presence of ATP, adenine triphosphate. It is a high energetic molecule. It is the energy currency in our living organisms. Due to this biochemical reactions catalyzed by enzyme, in living organisms the light is emitted and it gives bioluminescence so biochemical reaction takes place this reaction takes place in fireflies to give yellow green light some fungi marine animals and also in bacteria there are some bacteria which gives light okay and depending upon the organism and depending upon the um, uh, microorganism, they give different colors. Okay, what are the uses, applications of chemiluminescence? Chemiluminescence is very important in cancer cell imaging, in vivo imaging, okay, for diagnostic cancer, children's toys for colorful demonstration of experiments and water pollution detection and for bioluminescence they have living organisms use for predation food warning make attention and illuminating the surroundings thank you for watching please share and subscribe thank you again